So today we're going to be talking about rocks because every time I'm driving on a main highway or doing something on a back row, going to work, I see these big machines, like big tall machines, even construction workers have these. That's how they make our payment and stuff. So when they go up this big machine, these rocks go and then go inside this little tunnel thing. This little tunnel thing is where they cut the rock. Because you ain't going to find a rock like this in the middle of the earth. You ain't going to do it. You go dig up in your backyard right now. You ain't not going to find a rock like this. No way in heck you're going to find a rock like this. So, see this right here? A machine cut this. Then it goes up to another machine. It goes to another part of the factory. And there's a big old color dye factory. A big old color dye. Like a big like your houses that you live in. That's how big this color dye factory is. And they color dye these rocks. See right here? All white. See on this side? It's all like brownish. You are not going to find a rock half white, half brown in your yard. You ain't going to do it. And see, this other rock goes to the same factory like that rock did. And the machine cuts it. And then it goes through the another factory. And it goes, Burr! and then it gets color dye. All right here. All color dye. That's all color dye. Like your food dye, that's what's on these rocks. Because scientists, if you believe in the scientists, because I don't. I don't believe in the scientists. It's a little cotton it. Say this is the earth. Well, no, mine. Oh, I got that thing right here. Say this is the earth, because the earth is so cool, I think. I'm not really for sure. And it has, like, these different continents. And see, where I work at, I work on North America, and I work in the state of Texas. But in the state of Texas, we have this other little country flowing off to the side, like, right next to it. And we had to take a ferry to get to this other country. Because, the only reason I know this, because in them stores down there, they have these. It's your passport to Port Aransas. That tells you right there that you are entering another country. I don't care what anybody says. You are entering another country. So when I work, I'm going from Texas to Port A. I'm in another country. Because this says right here, your passport to Port A. Y'all understand what I'm getting? Because they're not going to be selling these in the stores. If you're not in another country. So back to this planet Earth thing. So I work like this. And then all of a sudden, I travel over to Pore, another country. And the country that I work in does not have rocks like this. Does not. So back to the planet Earth. Say this is a planet Earth. You're going to have a continent at the very bottom of the planet Earth. Which just sits there. It doesn't spin. They probably see like nighttime, maybe like 365 days a year and probably daytime, probably the same amount of time. Who knows? Because nobody lives down here. They say scientists live down here. No one lives down here at the bottom of the earth. And let me tell you why. Because they got these polar bears, like these big bears, and they white and they go like that. And they got these little penguins. It goes And then they got these little big old... Um, giant like well things that go vroom like that so there ain't no way a scientist is gonna be living down here with all these wall animals and the only reason why these wall animals live down here is because they have to stay below 32 degrees because these animals are so used to like snow ice all that they even have like ice monsters i think it's called like these big old ice things just break off and i think they're called monsters i'm not really for sure and they have like these snow things too, where they just go like that. And you ain't gonna find a rock down there. Because the only rocks you're gonna find down there is the snow rocks. So, scientists ain't gonna live down there. So don't believe your mom and dad when they say scientists live at the bottom of the earth. Because they don't. Because you can't get no merchandise down here. You can't even get Amazon packages. You can't even get Amazon Prime packages. I don't know what the difference is there. And you sure the hell can't get no service down here because you're at the bottom of the earth. I mean, when the earth spins, you just stay put. And that's not good for a human being. That's not. So, back to the rocks. You want to have this right here. See, it even cracked off. That's how you know it's made by a factory machine. It's not made by 
a planet Earth. So, see this rock right here? Look, it even has different little rocks in it. See that? That's how you know it's made by a human. You ain't gonna find a rock like this in the middle of the Earth. I mean, ain't no way in heck you are. I mean, I be digging holes all the time when I was little, and I never found a rock like that. Never. The only time I find rocks like that is when they deliver a rock thing to my house for my driveway. That's the only time I find rocks. So when you drive on the next highway you go to and you see this big factory, just remember at the very top of the factory, it's color dye. 